Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a super duper couple in love that loves reacting to some Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, time for Dragon Ball. Yeah, this is Dragon Ball Super episode number 72. And you can get early ad free access to our reactions and see our full watch along reactions on Patreon. Link is in the description of this video. Are you ready to do this? I'm ready. Okay. Come on, get up. Oh. Yeah. No. Goten, stand back. This is just something that happens. Mr. Piglo is a defibrillator? Yeah. So it's no use. Come on. Look. When you wish upon a star. Both of you get back. And what? Leave our dad? Just do it. Energy ball coming through. Okay. What the hell just happened? I'm ready. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, Dad, you're okay. Wait, what? What are you guys doing all the way out here? <laughs> Dad, we all uh, thought you were dead. Easy there, buddy. Because he was. You must have launched that before you collapsed. An insurance policy in case he struck you down and you needed the jolt to revive your heart. You're the most brilliant idiot I know. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he won. Yeah. It really nailed me good. For a second there, I thought I was going to meet King Yemma again. <laughs> For a guy who died, you're sure in a good mood. <laughs> I don't know why we even bought. <laughs> Mr. Pickle is the best. You can't. This is between me and Hit. And no one else, okay, Goten? But think about how sad Mom will be if he beats you again and we can't bring you back. No. How exactly did he defeat you? I thought you'd figured out a way to stay ahead of his time skip technique. That's not what he used against me. This move was even cooler than that. <laughs> <laughs> beat you that fast, then he really is impressive. Yeah, he's a badass. I love having the chance to face him at his best. Gohan, Piccolo, please don't try to talk me out of this, okay? Mm. Suit yourself. You've risked your life time and time again for the survival of this whole planet. So fight who you want. Yeah. You earn that privilege, no matter how stupid it might be. <laughs> well said. Now we're talking, but... This time, you better win. Right. Come on, give me the fist bump. Oh. Mm -hmm. Show that guy who's the best. I won't let you down, Goten. <laughs> All right, Hit. Boo, let's get it on. Your heart strike didn't kill me. It doesn't matter if you're back. <sighs> I can hear his voice. I can't sense his energy at all. Uh-oh, Dad. He's even trickier than I thought he was. Mm -hmm. He's an assassin, all right. For those guys, hiding energy is as easy as breathing. Come on, mm. Hit! How long Mr. Piccolo's legs are? Yeah. It's like me, like all legs, no torso. Yeah. But I don't like how this is going. You're pissing me off! <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? You're you wouldn't like me when you're angry. I know you can't stand that. Come on, all this cover. He'll love fighting in a spot like this. Until I met you, I didn't know assassins were so shy! Hmm? If I can feel his energy coming from behind those trees, then I bet he's hiding in the other direction. You have the ability to create dummy copies of your energy, don't you? Your copy lures me in. Then the real you attacks me from behind. Now, where's the real hit? Focus. Hmm. Over there? Damn it, I almost had it. I'm sensing your energy all over the place. Hmm? You just keep making more copies. You've got skills. Hmm. Yeah, it is. Here it comes. Oof. It's okay, no one liked that forest anyway. Yep. One strike. What a shame. But I admit, 
I sure wasn't expecting you to attack me through a solid tree. Though on the bright side, I'm learning more about your attack. Understanding it won't be enough. Then face me in the open! You know, when you emit your energy like that at night, there might as well be a lighthouse guiding you right to you. That's the reason I'm doing it! In all my years, I've never allowed a mark to escape. I believe it. That's right. Every job I take, I finish. And your best efforts won't stop me from finishing you. <laughs> Impressive evasion. The third time's the charm for you. Now let's see if you can dodge me! What was with the clap? No, it's different. Uh oh. <gasps> To you hit you're way stronger now than you were at the tournament and you know what if you pushed yourself you could get even stronger but you're lazy mm. you're shaky mm -hmm. you are afraid i will kill you again let's find yeah. out hm. well, i thought i was like something that happened with a hit like he, he had a nerve ah. or something like that and like that's the, what the tremor is but i guess not I mean, you'd kind of be a fool if he wasn't afraid of that, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Only three more to go. Oh. That leaves three more drills. I hope you have it in you. Oh. I'll serve you the best steak dinner in the universe! Go on. Instead of finishing three more sparring drills, I can have you eat like a king! Is that what this has come to, Vegeta? <laughs> oh. It would have to be quite the extraordinary preparation to make me agree to that. Oh, come on! Wait, wait! I'll drizzle it in my grandmother's secret sauce! Everyone! <laughs> Prime cut that's topped with the Vegeta family recipe! It's a deal. Give me this steak and I'll declare your sparring complete. Yes, yes, yes! Why would Vegeta take the shortcut like that? I figured in his training. Attacks, but I can't land my own. He really had to be beat. Yeah. even flinch my attacks just go right through yeah first he copied his energy he's not even trying it's like his body's mm. copied too <laughs> this fight's gone on for a while hasn't it it's going all out and still hasn't finished goku in a way both men are having a difficult time of it you understand hits techniques don't you so why isn't goku able to make contact my lord champa don't you remember his time-skipping move from their first battle? Oh, yes, where he can stop time. You're in the right ballpark, but he doesn't actually stop it. To be exact, he can skip ahead in time. And why does that mean he can't be touched? It's complicated, sir. But basically, Hit can store up all the time he's... Store it? How? In a temporary space-time parallel to ours. You might think... What? ...using this ability that Goku can see him but can't touch him. Mm. I'm a god and I don't understand anything you say! Yeah. Well, makes me feel better. Handle me if you can. <laughs> Looks like I grazed you. I'm not the least bit surprised. You're quite impressive. Hmm. Just not impressive enough. Feels like we're right back at the tournament again, doesn't it, my lord? Whenever Grand Zeno decides to hold his, hit should be the odds on favorite. And you made his path to victory that much smoother by having him take out Goku now. What's that? I didn't hire him to eliminate Goku. I merely acted as the intermediary for the actual client. Who was the actual client? You jumped to some other place, right? That is correct. 
But while you're wherever it is you go, you can't attack me, huh? That's why the physical you only blinks back into this world a second before you strike. But I can attack in another way. Huh? Who to every one of his powers? This battle with the Saiyan must have really scratched an itch for him. <laughs> but now he's not fighting as an assassin, but as a martial artist. My energy attacks can jump as well. I admit you have the upper hand. In fact, you're always one step ahead of me. Ugh, is that smart? But guess what, Hit? If I'm going down, I'm going down fighting. When we fought, you went down with nary a whimper. <laughs> we came to observe you. You mean watch our fight? And it's yeah, that's what observe means. Lord Champa and Vados, when did you get here? Hurry up and finish your fight. Hey, with all due respect, it's you guys who interrupted us. <clears throat> all right, now where did we leave off? We're figuring out all his moves. But you need to come up with some new ones. Oh, he's breaking your dimension? It's singing. Oh. Well, Boo was able to shatter a dimension. Okay then. So it can't be done. Oh. <laughs> what great inspirational music. Yeah, that was definitely like the Superman moment. Yeah, right? <laughs> Just both wiped out. <laughs> oh, they're both smiling. Yeah. That was fun. Let's have a play date again later. Fighting this hit bastard even more than you enjoy fighting me. Ooh. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> yeah, totally. And who hired you? Weiss. I would never reveal a client. No, of course not. Maybe because the one you're working for is Vegeta. Are you crazy? You dare to insult me. I'll end you. No, 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 I didn't mean that. Uh, forgive me, Lord Beerus. Think, Vegeta. Who else would be behind this ploy? <gasps> Goku himself. Your own head just so hit would come and fight you. You got me. Nice. I just figured if I hired you directly, you wouldn't have been nearly as motivated to fight as hard as you did. Hmm. <laughs> you were one strange man. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Whis. My lord, is something wrong? Fess up. Are you a player in this farce as well? Mm -hmm. Mister, for her help. She was the one who went ahead and hired Hit for him. I don't like you running these crazy schemes behind my back. <laughs> but Lord Beerus, you were the one who requested that Goku be trained in case there's another tournament. Well, I didn't expect you to help him call an assassin. <laughs> Is there a deadline for this job? Nah, it's pretty loose. <laughs> Wait, are you leaving? I'll kill you on my own time. <laughs> Watch your back, Goku. Shot him a wink. Crazy. Goku put a hit on Kill you later. <laughs> Goku, it's me! Aww. Hey, it's okay. I'm okay. <laughs> but Piccolo told me there was an assassin coming after you. What's that about? Uh, my bad. Are his eyes twitching out? Uh, Any idea who it could be? Let me think. Well, I don't know. Well then. <laughs> If I had to guess, it's probably that evil frost guy. Sure. <laughs> what is it? Don't forget, you made a promise to a steak and grandma sauce. On the sauce. <laughs> Granny special. <laughs> Crap! I don't have a steak, let alone a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, hit. I'll be ready. Nice. I'm not sure I even have a grandmother. <laughs> oh, he's in so much trouble. Yeah, yeah, he is. Um, Goku. Uh, I mean, Hit summed it up. Like, she, like he was so weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he really is. Yeah. Um, that was perfect that he was, he hired Hit, uh, to go and, um, you know, help himself train, uh, always looking for that edge and, uh, super clever to have figured out all that was going on. I mean, cause even when it was like explained to us, I still didn't understand it. So to be able to like figure it out on your own, like Goku's a genius. We've always known that he was a, a very good fighter and there has to be a degree of smarts that go into that. But outside of that, he's an affable fool most of yeah. the time. So like that moment of of sending the blast up 
so that it would restart his heart and and save his, like that was some some forethought and some strategy that like mm-hmm. we have not seen from Goku before. I feel like even with all of his his fighting smarts that he's demonstrated, it was great seeing Hit though uh, for these two episodes um, just because we missed him and like I mean so it'll be nice seeing him at the tournament uh, whenever that shows up again. But it's like. A little, this is a good little tease. Um, and just to see how powerful he's become and all the different moves he's he's gained uh, since Goku last fought him. Um, there's just something so smooth about Hit that I love. Yeah. I also love the fact that Vegeta almost seemed like the spurned lover. He's yeah. Like, you like fighting with him more than me. I mean, <laughs> that was that was just great. I love how they, how they kind of put that little triangle moment in there for the three of them. Mm-hmm. And this episode, I kind of... Uh, was able to pin a little bit more on what why I like Hit so much. And it's because he reminds me of Mr. Piccolo. Uh, mm. Like, I was trying to think of like other characters that like, you know, I'm like other villains he's based on. Like, he's like, got, a lot, a lot, got a lot of Mr. Piccolo in him. Because like Mr. Piccolo in the beginning, when he was talking about um, Goku and like, you know, being a genius and about a doofus and uh, saying that, you know, just kind of like, oh yeah, we're not gonna be able to talk you out of this. Um, like just, just knowing Goku so so well, it was kind of like the same way that Hit was both being surprised and impressed with Goku at the same time, which I think is a lot what happens with uh, with Piccolo. And I think I don't know. There's there's sort of those knowing glances yeah. from Hit, and those kind of like, I mean, he he is a man of few words, and so is Mister Piccolo. So like, mm-hmm. I never saw it until you said it, but now that you said it, I'm like, well, yeah. There's there's a lot there. Well, because like it bookended it, like it was like uh, you know we started with Mr. Piccolo and ended with Hit. I'm like, oh wow, like you know that they both made such good points uh, about Goku and were able to, um, like you said, like in like in few words and those like knowing glances and I like how Hit just like fights most of the time with his hands in his pockets. Like that's such a badass move. And Mr. Piccolo is always with his arms crossed. Yeah. So like they have their like signature signature position that they're in. Mm-hmm. Um, I also love the fact that. At the end of the fight, and they're both just beat, lying down on these rocks. You know, Goku looks like a kid on Christmas morning and so happy. And I love that we got that little smile from, yeah. from Hit. I just, I love their mutual respect, re- mutual admiration for each other. Mm-hmm. Um, and like, I don't know, it must have been, I was like, this is the start of a beautiful friendship. Like, I feel like this is just that, that thing for them where... Mm-hmm. They could do this for the next decade, just kind of tagging each other in and out. I'm gonna try and kill you. Cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll be waiting for you. Okay, now it's my turn. Like I just feel like they can go back and forth with that because they both very much love the challenge that they each get from that. Yep. And it's, yeah, like it's kind of a combination of Vegeta and uh, Mr. Piccolo, um, just because liking the challenge of always fighting uh, Goku, but not really having that like same. Uh, intensity or like or jealousy or uh chip on, his chip on his shoulder that like yeah the vegeta has like hits just kind of got more respect and it's like okay all right now i'm gonna go I'm gonna go train a little bit more and you know i'll kill you later um it's just, yeah so uh i very much hope he's get even more of hit even after the tournament uh whenever that comes and whenever that wraps uh because he's just a he's just a wonderful character yep i i mean you said it Perfectly. So Goku's like blast or like or whatever, or like or like power up to like break its dimension. Like cause in Dragon Ball uh Kai or Dragon Ball yeah, Dragon Ball Z, uh with Boo, they were in the um what's like the room of requirement or whatever, like the training room. Yeah. Right? That's kind of like another dimension. Well, yeah, because time works differently there. So it yeah, it yeah. has to be. So Boo was able to shatter that, so it kind of makes sense that Goku was able to do it as well, since Goku now, especially in the blue form, has got to be a lot more powerful than Boo was. Is, it that, is that what he did? I mean, that's what it looked like. And okay. I don't know, I think maybe the fact that like Hit's pocket world was basically invisible to us makes it seem uh, more, I don't know, ethereal or, or something. Yeah. Whereas like, their their workout room of requirement. I like that. To us, at least, it was tangible. Yeah. Like, it, it had a physical space. We saw it. They went inside of it. Like, I don't know. It felt it felt less 
back up. Goku felt more impressive breaking an invisible place mm-hmm. than Boo felt impressive breaking the workout room. At the time, it was hugely impressive. Yeah. So not like undercutting that at all. But like now in hindsight, they were like, oh, that can be done. Okay. But then like this being done was like, ooh, he saw something that wasn't even there and he shattered it. Like it just feels, it feels like we've upped up the game a little bit with that. Yeah. So if you want to see our full watch along reactions to this episode, then check out Patreon. The link is in the description of this video. You can also get early ad free access that way. Yeah. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Dragon Ball Super episode 72, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.